I've had my doubts personally about Pharrell Williams' appointment at Louis Vuitton Men's because it kind of came out of the blue. It was also an appointment that was a bit, I felt like a bit of a letdown, especially when you consider all the hullabaloo around um, the replacement or around the person that was going to take um, Virgil's job because he unfortunately passed away, RIP to Virgil Abloh, the GOAT. And there was a lot of talk about kind of, you know, honouring his legacy and continuing on the path that he kind of was going down by hiring somebody black, by hiring somebody that maybe wouldn't have got the opportunity beforehand, by just kind of continuing that legacy, continuing that story and kind of serving as a sort of quasi inspiration, people coming up. So a lot of names are thrown out there, the Grace Wells Bonners, the Martin Rose and the like, right? People who are out there who happen to be black but are doing a fucking amazing job um, with their brands and whatnot. So those were some names that are thrown out there that seem pretty cool. Then out of the blue, fucking, what's his name? Um, Robot Kid. What's the fucking white boy's name that did a few collection? I forgot his name. But you know the kid I'm talking about. He comes out of the blue and he could design some one-off collection that he does that's absolutely garbage, in my opinion. It was sort of like a weird copy of what Virgil would have done, but through the lens of whatever brand that he has going on there, which was super, super strange. Then you think, okay, he's going to get a job. So all that's talk about, you know, giving it to someone black changes. Then it's this kind of curly head white kid that gets it. And he puts out shit collection. Then you're thinking all oh, underwhelming. Then out of the blue, he doesn't get a job. And it goes to Pharrell. You're like, huh? Pharrell Williams. Like the Pharrell Williams that I know of kind of growing up and, you know, coming up a street where the time that he was sort of like, you know, front and center of the kind of BAPE, you know, um, renaissance in Europe and far beyond was that he was always somebody that was good with like ideas for like capsule collections or one-off projects and items and shit. You think about most recently that Montclair padded bulletproof vest type of style thing that he made a while back. You think of the stuff he did earlier on with Billionaire Boys Club that was spearheaded a lot by what Nigo was doing and skate thing in terms of graphic design. Um, you think of, you know, just this merch with Star Trek, all that sort of stuff is just like one-off small items, small runs, you know, the stuff he does with his jewelry, his bags, all custom stuff. That makes sense. But so far, we have never really seen Pharrell kind of be able to put together a coherent collection, um, you know, especially one that's like 60 plus looks and more. We've just seen him do pretty decent collaborative work. So when I see him got a point, I was like, that doesn't make any sense, really. He's not really a designer in that respect. Um, but then they hired him. And then the other bit that's been really interesting has been the fact that he's going to be one of the first shows opening up Paris Fashion, sorry, Paris um, Fashion Week for Men. And if you look at the schedule here, on the 20th of June, Louis Vuitton's going to be one of the last shows on the first day of the fucking um, calendar. So there's a lot of pressure on Pharrell to kind of do a good job. And it's been interesting to see because so far, maybe because we've got spoiled with Virgil basically documenting his entire journey before his untimely passing from being somebody screen printing t-shirts to being on the fucking main runway over there in fucking Paris and doing the job at the highest level. So maybe we got spoiled between seeing that because I remember checking his Instagram stories when he went on the first day at work over that Louis Vuitton getting in the lift going in the fucking atelier and studio like it was pretty cool and interesting to see but we don't see that with Pharrell if anything the only thing we've seen with Pharrell so far was his hesitancy or what was that sound I don't know what that was but with the thing we've seen so far with Pharrell was his flipping um you know him being out and being mixy We've seen more pictures of Pharrell being mixy, going to, you know, art gallery exhibitions, as we can see here from the pictures taken from P. Williams World on Instagram. But we haven't really seen any pictures of him in, in the atelier, designing, you know, I don't know, pinning stuff on fucking mannequin zero. It's just been him being mixy, going to private views, hanging out with Takashi Murakami and looking fucking fly. So I was a bit dubious of thinking, whoa, this is not going to be good. This is going to be really bad if he hasn't, been doing anything really and just been kind of hanging out this is not looking good for fucking pharrell williams but then if you look closely at some of these pictures of him at takeshi murakami's exhibition here in paris you can see some hints of some up-and-coming things that he might be showing as part of his tenure over there at louis vuitton such as these jeans these monogram style jeans that look like they have a little bit more of a flared um bell bottom style towards the bottom now they could remind me a lot of virgil stuff because virgil did have 
love this cut of jeans that he used to do at Louis Vuitton quite often. But there's something about the way he's rocking them, especially with these look, they look like snowboard esque moon boots that he has going on there or skate shoes. It's giving me a feeling that this might be part of the collection that he might be putting through in a runway. And even this little coin purse he has hanging off his jeans, that looks like a turtle. That's a pretty cool design um, with the Louis Vuitton monogram on it. So those are all things that were looking like, hmm, maybe Pharrell might actually be able to pull this off by just deciding to like make really cool interesting basics of the stuff that he wears day to day but with a louis vuitton sort of spin um already already applied to it um you see a little bit here as well with this bag that could also be something that he is going to be debuting at his first collection for a louis vuitton that looks like you know a classic louis vuitton. i don't know what the style bag is but he's maybe added a longer strap maybe there's an inclusion of here like kind of duck shape um leather little hold on the inside also um the hat isn't to do louis vuitton that's human made but this, these, these shoes look like maybe the ones that Virgil did. The pants could also be ones that Virgil did, but they also could be ones for other. I'm not too sure, so I'm just gonna, just gonna pontificate on this a little bit. But it's giving me hope. But the thing that definitely gave me the most hope so far has been this recent picture, um, this recent campaign he did with fucking Rihanna. As she's pregnant, she's wearing this amazing leather um, Louis Vuitton shirt. It's like an oversized shirt. There's loads of bags and hodls all across her arms in different colors and stuff which is kind of reminding me of mark jacobs at louis vuitton era so maybe that was part of you know the springboard of what pharrell was doing but then also pharrell in front of the picture himself looks absolutely amazing and he's got the same cut of trousers so it's black looks like it could be leather i'm not too sure what the material of it is but you already imagine this is all probably going to be lv so there's a bat there's a motorcycle jacket or an aviator jacket whatever style you want to call it there are these nice mirrored lenses and black pants as well so maybe this is what we're going to see during his collection when he puts it down in paris fashion Week. so this is giving me hope that maybe actually might be able to pull it off he might actually be able to pull it off he might actually defy expectation and then another picture that's giving me hope about pharrell defying expectation is this it's a picture of um, Pusha T somewhere in Paris um, on a balcony wearing a leather jacket, um, a varsity jacket by Louis Vuitton with this amazing design on the back. It kind of reminds me of something that you'd see, I don't know, in the kind of Dapper Dan era. So there's maybe a logo they probably ripped this off of, but it looks amazing. It's got Vuitton in the back and essentially it's kind of like a crest, like a sun, like a crest sunrise type of um, design and the Louis Vuitton, the two T's are joined together to make them look like pillars. Like it's a really clever use of design and wording and whatnot. And it looks really great. And I also love the color of the varsity jacket as well, the blend of the white and the black with all the panels and stuff. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a old school Averex jacket in terms of sort of like how they've, you know, paneled it all up. There's a mix of wool and leather there. And, you know, from Virgil, oh, sorry, from Pharrell's time wearing stuff like, you know, um, bait back in the day and knowing how well they did a good varsity jacket this could also be a hint to that sort of era so it's looking kind of encouraging actually i know i had my doubts about it but it's actually looking kind of encouraging because again like i said we haven't seen anything of this guy in the studio or anything and even this jacket actually this m65 that he put together that looks like something he would have done looks absolutely exquisite it's an M65 that's been kind of, you know, upgraded into this lovely plush velvet material that looks like an emerald gold, or sorry, emerald green with um, Louis Vuitton logos kind of plastered all over them, embroidered in the yellow. And then on the collar, it's got this amazing like white plush mink type of fur on the inside. It's going to look incredible. But he's taken a classic, you know, streetwear, menswear item with the M65 and upgraded it in terms of the materials and the finish you'd get at Louis Vuitton. So maybe these in indications, maybe these are indications that it's all going to be okay. And I've got nothing to worry about um, because at first I thought Pharrell was going to be a bit of a dud at Louis Vuitton, but this could be um, an example that maybe things are going to be okay. So we have to wait and, wait and see what happens, but the show is due to be soon. As you can see here, it's happening on June the 20th and um, the last show of the day, 8.30 PM Louis Vuitton men's Pharrell's debut over there. You get to see what it's going to be like and what he's going to be putting together on the runway but for sure this kind of explains why they would hire him because you'd imagine maybe LVMH would have had a hard time getting Rihanna to star in the flipping Louis Vuitton campaign but because she probably has a personal relationship with Pharrell and shit she decides to do it so this is maybe part of the reason why they hire people like Pharrell instead of actually hiring trained and um, designers that have gone to school and shit and have got their own brand 
because of the star power and their ability to turn the runway into a festival right into a proper red carpet type of event so maybe that kind of adds to the whole luster of it especially when you think you know Louis Vuitton especially as a, a brand itself most of their money comes from bags anyway so the collections and clothes and stuff it's kind of like a free run to do whatever you want um, because most of the money like I said is made with the bag so let's wait and see um, June 20th to see what he does and what the collection looks like over there in Paris Fashion Week um, the first day features what what brand do you have here you have um, FM Bachelor Arts you have Velvet Studios you have Kidil you have Burke Aikloy, you have Georges Windor, Etudes, and you also have Louis Vuitton. So let's see what happens there. First day of Paris Fashion Week is going to be for a whole day. I'm eager to see what he does and what he puts on that runway.